Klang, Selangor, Malaysia has been one of the most devastated areas with floods in the past few years. In the year 2021 alone four times is the authorities solving the problem for the people in Klang. Y. B. Charles Santiago, Member of Parliament Klang, invited Green Earth Web TV for a seminar on the impact of climate change on coastal areas like Klang. The biggest problem being, the sea level rise in the Klang area is becoming a very critical problem. As the biggest port in Malaysia is located in Klang. Part of the purpose of this seminar uh, is to raise some of these concerns that uh, Port Klang is a very strategic uh, uh, town, but not only for Slango, but also for Malaysia. Uh, and this is because it has got two of the biggest ports. The biggest port uh, is in uh, the West Port, and then you'll have North Port here, together with 12 other small ports. Uh, and that employs thousands of people and has got a revenue running into billions, running into billions. And of course, the subsidiary industries that support both the ports. So it's huge, it's really huge. Uh, so therefore, the whole point of uh, some part of the seminar is to bring attention to that and tell the government that if they do not put sufficient priority to Port Klang, then it is a disaster, not only for Klang, but also for Malaysia. We also managed to talk to a few affected people within the media coverage of the event. The problem we faced during the 18th of December a lot of houses were inundated with water. So uh, and there is a monsoon drain down there. And uh, the thing is like, even a short while, half an hour, and the whole place will be, uh, you know, overflow with waters. And we have, a, we, our time have a lot of elderly sleepers, okay? Uh, in this case, we want, we have been appealing to the uh, municipal council to clear the drain, clean up the place, the silting, everything, so that we do not have the flash flood so often. It's happening too much. We have been suffering with terrible floods in our Taman. Whenever it rains, it's it's unimaginable. Even if it's 2 o'clock in the morning or 3 o'clock in the morning, we have to be awake. Because whenever there's a heavy rain, our back lanes get flood, water starts coming in through the kitchen, through the toilet and so on. Now we have been having this problem for many, many years. We have brought it up with MPK many, many times with the council. But no any concrete action has been taken. Nothing. We have a serious floods. I think the worst in Klangla. For until 2021, for past nine years, it seems like the local authority is not doing anything, you know. So in this case, can we take any legal actions against the local authority? Because it seems like they are not doing anything. Okay, as we know, uh, December 18, uh, 2021 was a very bad time where the whole people in Klang was affected by flood disaster. And many property loss and a lot of damages were made. So I feel that the government, especially the federal government, should step in to come out with a proper plan, especially funding, and must have the will to solve the problem in Klang. Okay, Though once you solve the problem in Klang, it can be a model and taken up to the entire nation for a solution. Thank you. In the December event, the communities were not prepared, yeah, and we had poor response, yeah, and now we are in the recovery phase, yeah. Some of you are, as you recover, this is where we should put in more prevention for the next event, like floods, yeah? all these drainage increments, they need resources, but what can the individual do? This is where we need engineers to be more innovative. Individual houses, the floods were coming in. How can we protect the flood waters from coming in from the toilet? How can we put barriers around, uh, temporary barriers around housing estates? Those are the kind of innovation. And of course, we mentioned much about drainage capacity and lack of maintenance. And one thing that has not been touched on uh, too much yet uh, this morning is about the river and the floodplain itself. Now, all these we can break it down into three main categories, which is the hydro meteorology, which is what we cannot control. The development is what we can control. And the hydraulic part, which is what you expect the engineers to be in control. 
good leaders. We need to elect good leaders. I think coming from a young person, for the next election, I tell you, uh, if you're not doing the job, there's no more. We, we're not going to vote the same people again and again. It's, it's done. You know, this kind of issues is an electoral issue. As the water was coming into the hall, my, my house, the water was rising. I didn't know what to do. It was past midnight. It was a horrible feeling.